The following video will provide a brief overview of the LifeVest wearable cardioverter defibrillator and includes information that will be important for you to consider in the event that you encounter patients wearing the device. LifeVest is a wearable defibrillator that offers at-risk patients protection against sudden cardiac arrest. Unlike an implantable cardioverter defibrillator, the life vest is non-invasive and is worn outside the body rather than implanted inside the chest. The life vest consists of two main components, a garment and a monitor. The garment is worn under clothing. It detects arrhythmias and can deliver treatment shocks to the heart when necessary. The monitor is worn around the waist or from a shoulder strap. It monitors the heart, records arrhythmias, and determines when treatment is required. Electrodes are contained in the belt around the body. ECG electrodes continuously monitor the heart rhythm. Therapy pads deliver treatment shocks to the heart when necessary. Tens of thousands of patients have been protected by the LifeVest wearable cardioverter defibrillator since the device received FDA approval in 2001. The life vest is used for a wide range of patient conditions or situations, including following a heart attack, before or after bypass surgery or stent placement, as well as for those patients with cardiomyopathy or congestive heart failure that places them at particular SCA risk. Patients who have had an implantable defibrillator removed and are unable to be immediately re-implanted for whatever reason are also prescribed the life vest for protection until the re-implantation procedure. The life vest has two models shown here. Though differing in appearance, both models are equally effective at detecting ventricular arrhythmias and delivering life-saving therapy. The life vest system uses four ECG electrodes around the patient's body. One pair of electrodes provides a side-to-side -side channel of the ECG signal, and the other pair of electrodes provides a front-to-back channel. When a treatable ventricular arrhythmia is detected, the life vest initiates a sequence of alerts and voice prompts to warn the patient and bystanders of a possible treatment shock. During this time, if the patient is conscious, they are instructed to press and hold the response buttons, which are found in the top corner of the life vest monitor. The response buttons prevent a treatment shock from being delivered. Please note that only the patient should press the response buttons. If, however, the patient is unconscious, the sequence will run through a five-second vibration alert, followed by a low, single-tone siren, which is broadcast for five seconds, followed by five seconds of loud, two-tone sirens. The device then transitions to voice prompts accompanying the two-tone siren. In order to quickly and effectively care for a patient wearing the life vest, it is important to understand the different alerts and voice prompts that may be broadcast from the device. If the life vest device is silent when you arrive on the scene, the device may be monitoring the patient's heart rhythm. If, however, you arrive on the scene and you hear a single tone alert, or a gong from the life vest, the device may be alerting the patient to follow instructions displayed on the monitor screen. In some instances, the gong alert may also be accompanied by a voice prompt. Treatment has been given. Call your doctor. Or contact physician. In these situations, you should proceed with standard evaluation and treatment measures. If external defibrillation is available, a decision can be made to remove the life vest and monitor or treat the patient with your own external monitoring and defibrillation equipment. To disable the life vest, simply pull out the battery. You can then unclasp the hooks at the front of the garment and remove the device. If you arrive on the scene and the life vest is broadcasting alerts or voice prompts, it is important to pay close attention to these messages. Audible two-tone siren alerts and voice prompts may indicate that the patient has been treated or is still in the process of being treated. You may hear the two-tone siren alerts accompanied by one of these prompts. 
If patient is not responsive, call for help. Perform CPR. Or device disabled, call ambulance. These prompts mean that the life vest may be detecting an untreatable rhythm, such as asystole, is unable to detect an ECG signal, or may have delivered the maximum number of treatment shocks in a treatment sequence. In these situations, proceed with your standard evaluation and treatment measures. You may decide to disable and remove the life vest and use your own monitoring and defibrillation equipment. Again, to disable the life vest, simply pull out the battery, then unclasp the hooks at the front of the garment and remove the device. If the life vest has detected a ventricular arrhythmia and is preparing to treat the patient, the two-tone siren alerts will be accompanied by this voice prompt. Electrical shock possible. Do not touch patient. Bystanders, do not interfere. When the life vest is in this mode, an electrical shock will be delivered between 25 and 60 seconds after the treatment sequence begins, depending on the type and rate of the arrhythmia and whether the patient presses the response buttons. Please note that you can be shocked if you are touching the patient when the shock is delivered. Do not touch the patient when the life vest is in this mode. Allow the life vest to complete the treatment sequence and shock the patient. The device will broadcast when it has completed the treatment sequence. The sirens will stop and you will hear the following instructions. Treatment has been given. Call your doctor. Blue gel on the patient's chest and back is an indication that the patient may have been treated. The life vest deploys blue gel prior to delivering a treatment shock. The purpose of the gel is to improve shock conduction and minimize burning. This gel should remain on the patient as long as they continue to wear the life vest. However, if you choose to remove the life vest and monitor the patient with your external equipment, the gel can be removed using water. The life vest system is a wearable defibrillator that continuously monitors the heart rhythm, rapidly detects sudden cardiac arrest, and responds by defibrillating the heart back to a normal rhythm. If you are required to treat patients wearing the life vest, pay close attention to any alerts or voice prompts that may be broadcast, and remember, you may proceed with standard evaluation and treatment measures as you deem necessary. Zoll provides 24-hour technical support for patients and healthcare professionals. For any questions about the life vest or dealing with life vest patients, please call us at 1-800-543-3267. You can also learn more about the life vest by visiting www.zoll.com.